Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to share with you an altered tin that I've made. I've actually made it for a swap I'm doing with Kerry, who is Kez T on YouTube. Um, but it's also doubling as my first uh, DT project for the month of April for Shabbylicious. Is it April? Yes, it's April. For Shabbylicious on Zibit, which is Lily's beautiful store. And um, okay, so we agreed to do an altered tin, and it could either be in vintage style or shabby chic style. And I went with shabby chic with the soft pinks this time. And I've used this very old tin that I found at an op shop, and I really like it, so I didn't cover it completely because I wanted to keep the integrity of the tin. It's nice to sort of have that aged look, and it looks beautiful with the lace actually. So basically, most of the things on here are from Lily's store. We'll start at the back. I have a little dangle going. I have some tiny little um, acrylic leaves, frosted acrylic leaves that I've made a little dangle out of. I have some lace off cuts in a very soft pink. And also this tiny little bit of lace here that runs around the base of the tin. And that's also from Lily's store. And it's a beautiful lace that is. It's so tiny and delicate. A little satin bow and a bead cap holding it all on there. We have some book paper just ripped to cover the top. A little bit of Lily's wedding applique underneath. Just cut out to fit. And you can see a bit poking out at the top here as well. We have some doodad flowers, very tiny little roses. Also this beautiful pink flower, and it's almost like a hibiscus, I think. Perhaps hibiscus or, yeah, it is a hibiscus. We also have this beautiful leaf in here. It's like an iridescent kind of color. I've made a little flower out of her beautiful white lace, and I've popped a layer of her fabric flower on top of it with a pink doodad in the center. I've folded a bit of the pink beautiful lace that she has in her store in half. It was actually like a flower but I folded it in half just to prop things up a little bit and sprinkled a few pearls around inside with a little bit of glitter. And this is one of her luxury flowers as well. It's the one with the diamante, diamante in the center and I've just popped that in the corner with a little bit of concertina book paper poking out. And that's the front of my altered tin. And um, it is very pretty, uh, quite dimensional. So let's have a little look inside and I, uh, I loved doing this, okay? I loved, I loved doing this. Are you ready? There we go. <laughs> I think it's so cute. It's a tiny little dress that I've made. And for the life of me, I, I it's so tiny. I don't know how I managed, but I did, and I absolutely had a ball doing it. On this side, I've put the word Paris going down on an angle, and that was a, like a, a piece that Hazel sent me some time ago. It was quite silver so I've just put a little bit of black paint in places going over it just sort of you know it's not so glary. We have a little bunch of Lily's doodad flowers in the corner here with just a little leaf off one of her lace trims. We have her Eiffel Tower that's white and I've covered it in glitter, put a little rosebud at the top and a bit of bling where the hole usually is there. And the little dress is just made from the beautiful soft pink lace that Lily carries in her store. And it just, it's so delicate and pretty and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Little pink doodad flower in the front. I cut another piece of the top of the lace and just positioned it so that little bit ran down the front of it. Tiny little beading for the shoulders. I don't know if you can see in there. I've also used one of these. I think it's like an earring piece. And it had three little holes along it. And I cut one off and used it like a little coat hanger. There we go. That might be better. A little coat hanger to hold the dress up. And it worked perfectly. I'm very, very happy. And I don't think it needed anything else in here. It just it's really cute and I think this is the first project I've ever done 
that's like got Paris, Parisian themes sort of thing. But I thought, well, shabby chic, you know. Um, I've also put a little bit of Perlex on the back where the dress is and around the sides in here. And if you can see just along the top here, I've got like an antique silver glitter. Um, just to add a little bit of sparkle to it. So that's the altered tin that I've made for Carrie and I really hope she likes it. I think it's adorable. It's I don't know if I'll make another one this size because you know look <laughs> it was a challenge and I, I absolutely loved doing it. Um, I need I think some super duper tweezer type tools actually for things like this but it was a lot of fun and I'm really happy it's just a little something Did I get that yep yeah. really really happy with how it turned out and all these things are from Lily's store and I hope you like what I've made and um, pay her store a visit because she has some beautiful things and sometimes things sell out very very quickly she's just come back from a holiday from America as some of you may know so she's restocking or restocked her her store by now um, this yes she would have restocked it by now because of course this video isn't going up until Carrie receives it so there we go that's the altered tin I've made for our challenge and that's my first DT project for April for Lele for Shabby Licious on Zibit and I hope you all like it and it used to stand up but unfortunately because I made this so dimensional it tends to want to so I think it just needs like maybe not that but it just needs something to um, lean again so if you've got it against like a little box or a wall or something um, if I fiddled with it enough I could get it to stand up or even one of those photo frame holders you could pop it in like that I've just have it, had it leaning against one of my glass jars here and it's it looks very pretty so there we go An altered tin for Carrie very cute I think Thank you for joining me today, everybody, and I hope you like my little project. Bye-bye.